Hey there fellow Outbreakers, I'm back with another video and today I'll be attempting a solo very hard mode run with a twist. The twist is beating the first map with no weapons and trying to avoid getting hit. The game rewards you with the extra points if you manage to pull this off. Without further ado, let's jump in right into it, shall we? First things first, the door can be quickly lock picked using the S shape pick in under a minute. Alternatively, the key to open the door is with will, but you can only get it after the zombies break in. This waste time increases the risk of getting hit. If you're playing with a different character, you might want to break down the door instead. There's also a gun in the men's bathroom that helps break it quicker. Moving on, be cautious of the window, there's a zombie that will break through and can instantly kill you, however if you quick with button mashing you can free yourself. In the staff room, use the S shaped key again to unlock the door. Normally you do need the blue tagged key which you can find under the newspaper on the table in this room. Once we unlock the door, I'll head to the drawing room to get the lighter and we're done here. By the way, I've chosen Alyssa for this run since she's the best character for skipping the keys in very hard mode. Plus, she's great for getting the fastest possible times. I actually hold a world record which you can check out. I'll leave the link in the description below. In the liquor room, we rush and bait the zombie near the shutter. With some luck, the zombie will cooperate. Normally, you do need the forklift key found in the owner's room, but you need an alcohol bottle to place it in the painting, and then it will unlock the drawer, and the key will be in the drawer. The lighter can also be used for the puzzle. But we won't be doing that since this is a no weapon run. If you use the first bottle to make a Molotov, there is another one nearby. Oh, and right in this corner, we, we should find Barry's special item. If the right conditions are met, which I covered in my previous video. Now, let's check on our zombie friend. He should unlock the door soon. The roof is a bit hectic due to the insane number of birds. I'll bait another zombie to open the fence for me. Come on zombie, come on, be cooperative. <laughs> Oops, well, looks like we can try that again. Nice. Thank you. Now let's run ASAP, the timer has started and we need to escape the apartment before it hits zero or we did.
by the way when you enter the next room move forward to make the zombie activate the elevator leave the room okay and when you come back voila the zombie is gone just head to the elevator In one F of the apartment, run quickly. Usually the zombie near the door will be facing away. And if it's that's the case, you can run the door without being grabbed. If it's facing you, just tackle it and run to the door. In front of Jack's bar, things can get tricky. The first car requires 13 pushes. Okay, let's see. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. Oh, come on! <laughs> in very hard mode, scissor tests often get in the way, so Raymond will need to handle them. But you know Raymond, he likes to chill. I am being extra careful. So I'll wait and try to bait them to jump. If that doesn't work, we will switch to plan B. Hmm. Let's see. Kid, we don't want to lose our no damage clear now. So I'll just wait more. Since this is not a speed run. <laughs> oh. Turns out they're smarter than I thought. So we're going with plan B, clearing them out from the car's path. Great. Now I'll push the car one more time. Then run through the corner. Okay, this is 13. Now. Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. This is probably the fastest route, even faster than climbing over the car if you're speed running. There shouldn't be any issues with pushing the second car. Pro tip check the car doors and trunks for items. Next up it's the room where you're locked in with four scissor tails while Raymond breaks the door. You don't want them to distract him so don't get too close, you can bait them to climb the walls. But they have a mind of their own, so be careful. Nice, looks like all four of them on the wall. Whoops! 
I almost lost my no damage clear hit. Come on, Raymond, break the door. By the way, once all four scissor tears stuck on the wall, you can help Raymond with the door. But remember, if he gets hit, it will take longer to break through. Finally, Raymond gets the door open. Nice. Only to meet his end at the hand of Caesar Tails. He got distracted. Rest in peace, Raymond. It was nice knowing you. Normally, his body will have a lighter on it, but since we already grabbed one from the drawing room, we can skip that part. Now we head to the truck, open the valve and use the lighter. This one's for you Raymond. Die you scissor tails. You don't belong in this world. Wait, <laughs> this isn't Castlevania right? Next we jump, swim, cutscene. And then climb up. During online playthroughs, if the lighter is used while the players are near Raymond's body, they won't die and can climb down from the other side. That route is only accessible in online play. In the tunnel, all the tough parts are over. Just run to the end and climb the ladder. In front of Apple Inn, we need to find Dorian. He's a nice guy and will give us a lift to the next area. That's it then? Get in please. The highway is too dangerous. Now all that's left is to trigger the cutscene on the bridge and head back. Oh no. After that, talk to Dorian again and he will give you another link. And just like that, GG, we've completed the no weapon and no damage run. Now let's wait for the result screen while chilling with Alyssa's ending. Let me know in the comments if I should keep the in-game cutscenes. I skipped some because I thought they might be boring for you guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. I'll be doing these runs on all maps, on some of them I might have to use exploit to complete the challenge. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.